This episode of Strange Love brought to you by Treasure Licious. Good evening. This is Strange Love, and I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Welcome to a very special, kind of, sort of, morning-ish edition of Strange Love. I'm joined... Oh, I'm Cami Chaos. <laughs> and as always, I'm joined by my co-host and producer and button pusher, Mr. Chaos. Hello, and wake up. And this time, we are joined by the very, very special... Very, very unusual, very, very fabulous, Mr. Fabulous. Hi. When you say special, does that mean in a short bus sort of way or? In a very special, as yet uncategorized sort of special way. I think you'll find that you're going to be (laughs) finding during this show a very different Mr. Fabulous. A little more, dare I say, sophisticated, a little more mellow. Ooh. A softer, more cultured side of Fabby. And you know what it is? It's it's your influence. You know, I've listened to the podcast, and you two guys, you seem so sophisticated and with it and laid back in that whole, that whole West Coast thing. Exactly. Mm, you know, yes. I almost feel like I'm listening to a very hip national public radio or something, you know? We're hip. It, this is it puts me in mind. It puts me in mind, and, and this, uh, Dr. Normal may be more familiar with this reference. Um, the old uh, National Lampoon radio shows from the 70s and early 80s. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, Bill Murray uh, did a Mel, Mel Brewer. Do you remember Mel Brewer? Was he the Mel jazz Brewer musician? Is, no, he was, a, um, he was a radio show host. Mel Brewer, Insomniac Time, 2 to 6. So I'm kind, of, I'm kind of in that Mel Brewer mode where everything's cool and nothing's phasing me. I think it's a good place to be. The fact that you both are drinking heavily in the middle of the morning, that doesn't bother me at all. That's for you, hun. <laughs> oh, is, is this not your taping time? You know, we either tape at night or we tape in the morning. Uh, we didn't drink last tape- night when we were taping, though. Okay. Yeah, we, we had a very special um, once-in-a-week once opportunity uh, to uh, interview the, the CEO and founder of Toonlight last night. We- we love the tunelet. Yeah, we do. Craig, uh, Craig, he gave good interview. Craig Schwartz. Okay, Craig Schwartz gave so, a good interview. What are you drinking? Oh, hey, this is dedicated to you, Fabi, because you told me you didn't know how to make a margarita. That's yeah. true, I don't, although I did enjoy one not uh, not an hour and a half ago at a local restaurant. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you this is a rocks margarita, not a blended margarita. It's very That's simple. What I have. You have one part tequila, one part triple sec, one part... Uh, lime juice and one part simple syrup you shake it over rocks you pour it into a glass that has a salt rim you drink that repeat as necessary seems like a lot of work or you could just go to the restaurant and order it or i could just take my bottle of vodka pour some in a glass put in some ice and then pour in some coke zero but that's vodka and coke not margarita you're right well Mm -hmm. i'm sure that. (laughs) <laughs> now that I've been uh, schooled in the proper way to make them, uh, I'm sure that I'll be taking it up very shortly. You should. Now, I want to get to a couple things really quickly. Uh-oh. Yes, ma'am. Does Mr. Chaos need help opening his beer? I, uh, oh, no, he wants to talk time. about his beer. I'm sorry. Mr. Chaos, I bet it's a f- what I bet are it's you a drinking? fabulous, trendy type of beer. Negra Modelo. Ah. I enjoy the Colt Forte 5. Mmm, that's a nice there vintage. There you go. Yes. So, now that we've oh, got... Oh, perfect morning beer. Yeah, now that we've gotten through the drink portion of our... What's Fabby drinking? Pre-11. What, yeah, what are you drinking, Fabby? I am drinking Dasani water. Mmm, see? Nice. You're a good boy. Coming down after, <laughs> after the hangover uh, from a few nights ago, right? Uh, that would be correct, sir, yes. <laughs> yeah, we all saw the drunk tweets that you had. <laughs> I think you took Twitter down What's that? there. Did I really? You were drunk tweeting. Yeah, it was very I was on uh, Jester Tunes radio show, too, much to my chagrin the next day. So, mm-hmm. so how many times, how often do you um, tape 
big sticky love or um, uh, hot sweaty love, um, strange love, s- <laughs> hot sweaty teenage love. We uh, we we go once a week. Uh, yesterday was an exception. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yesterday we wound up recording a special tech version. It- and then we wound up going all night. Look, it's Memorial Day. We're it's kind of we're kind of doing a Jerry Lewis thing here. We've got the call in. You know, it's we've a strange got the love telephone. Oh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! I think we're up to one thousand one hundred and fifteen. Yeah. You could have bumped me for the cartoon guy. I would not we, have minded. I could. Have we ever, didn't want to bump yeah. you. I was very excited. I don't think everyone knows. I've done your show twice. You've not been on you my have. show. I wanted you That's on true. my show. It's, I wanted to be on your show. Oh, that makes me feel kind of we special. We're on the show Beautiful. together. And just a plug awesome. for next week. Next week, the Queen. Oh, actually, we have a, we have another pretty special guest next week. I, I don't think I you want to call him the Queen. I think he'll get upset. No, no, no. Queen's coming in her limo with the Tupperware. I know and what you're talking sandwich. about. Okay, so right. Fabby, before we go anywhere Wait. else, would you like to tell everyone where your blog is? My blog? No, I prefer to keep it. Uh, I I prefer no one reads it. I'll stop then. No, it's um, it's uh, www.pointless-drivel.com. And what do you do there? Uh, well, it <laughs> pops into my twisted, fevered little mind. Mm-hmm. We've got some exciting posts coming up. Um, Tuesday, I take uh, the Family Circus over the hurdles. Ooh, someone needs to do like that. Did Archie Comics. Mm-hmm. And then Wednesday, I have a... Um, Another, I don't know if you caught my pictorial post about the self pedicure, uh, but I, do, <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I do want to shave. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's basically it's a pictorial post of me shaving. So here's how that uh, went. She handed me the laptop and said, "Look at these pictures and tell me if they're gross. <laughs> tell me no, what's in them." Because you said there was there was a blood, and I don't like the blood. Oh, you're not going to like the shaving post then. Okay, I'll let I'll let uh, Mr. Chaos look at it for me, and and then I'll comment based on his recommendation. And then Thursday, um, I treat you all to a stirring tale of bravery and um, overcoming um, overcoming all odds. It's a, it's an inspiring tale, and that's all I'll say about that. Um, really. <laughs> yes, and you know, as I mentioned, as I mentioned in the in the uh, near the end, you know, am I a hero? By the end of the post, I'll let you decide. Oh, I like getting to decide things with a you know small set parameter of information to choose from. Oh boy! Exactly. Mister Chaos is getting sappy on us. Well, he Aww. said he's overcoming mm-hmm. all the odds. It's more of a dream the impossible dream type of thing, if you got any of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll pull that one up, right? <laughs> so now... Sort of, gonna... sort of a charged light brigade sort of thing is what I'm talking about, really. <laughs> I'm going to ask you now if there's anything that you feel compelled to tell us. Anything about you know, your uh, life. You're getting the scoop. You're getting the big <laughs> scoop here. You, you may have already be aware of some of what's going on. Mm, yeah, I uh, do my research between, you know, Facebook and Twitter and and I'm subtle in your window. Myself because I, I am gonna be talking about it on my show on Sunday and mm-hmm. I'll probably be talking about it on Hilly's show, on which I'm the guest just before my show. But I'm gonna to show the love, the big, sweaty, unwashed, um, steamy love. Strange. I'm going I'm going <laughs> it is strange. I'm going to give you the scoop that um, as of um, Friday, May 30th, um, Pointless Drivel Enterprises um, is relocating its corporate headquarters from Gainesville, Florida, which um, is where it has been since its inception. We're taking everything on the road, including the radio show, the whole kit and caboodle. We're packing it up um, to 17 moving vans. It'll be an entire convoy up I-75 on Friday, March uh, May 30th. Um, to Lexington, Kentucky, which will be the new corporate headquarters of Pointless Dribble Live and Pointless Dribble. The whole Pointless Dribble empire will be le- located in beautiful, picturesque Lexington, Kentucky. And now would you like to tell everyone why you're relocating the headquarters to Kentucky? Um, for the most part, tax breaks. Mm-hmm. You know, they've been, uh, they've very been, uh, they've been, they're trying to woo a lot more quality bloggers. 
to Kentucky. Right now, uh, Florida uh, and, you know, present company accepted. Florida and California seems to have the most, con- the highest concentration of high profile bloggers. So Kentucky's trying to make a bid to at least be number three. So, oh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Um, I don't think Kentucky's going to get to be number three. I mean, you bring a lot to the table, but we're really working on Portland right now. You know, Port. You know, Portland is good. I mean, so I have. There are some really good bloggers in Portland, but you know, <laughs> Portland has the misfortune of being in Oregon, so which you know, Oregon, which is problematic. Oregon. 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 <laughs> Don't forget Vancouver well, too. You know. Oh, and Vancouver. There will be, yeah, yeah. It is a. Um, we're riding. We're also one of number, another one of the reasons uh, moving to Lexington is we're riding one of the newest trends. If you if you're familiar with any of these bloggers, you're familiar with Poppy. You know Poppy. I know who Poppy and Dog. is. Dog. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh, you know that they're up. They are not what we come now. The new phenomenon of power blogging couples. Mm-hmm. You know you got Poppy and your dog, and you got your Dutchie and your Rob, and now you have uh, Mr. Fabulous and Turn Baby. Oh, I've been waiting. I was saving the O. I'm oh, gonna do it again. I need. I need to do it again just to make sure. Oh, there. How was that? I was kind of hoping there'd be some schmaltzy music there for that. But. Yeah, there may have, may or may not have been some technical difficulties upstairs with somebody stomping, and my um, button pushing music making husband may or may not have gone upstairs to uh, see if we could put a stop to that. I love this uh, setup you guys have got here. I'm, we're, you know, we're going to be doing the same sort of thing, of course, because Turn Baby has a radio show right mm-hmm. after mine, so we're going to be putting together a little studio or something. We're going to have to figure something out. So, so you're going to kind of incorporate the two shows, or are they going to remain separate entities? They'll still remain separate, but they'll run back to back, and and you know, you'll have to put up with me groping her when she's doing her show, and you know, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. So you guys are going to set you know, up. The- the- Go ahead. Uh, we're you know it's closer to Oregon. It is closer to Oregon. You could come visit. Well, it's not around the corner, but it's, <laughs> it is closer. Um, I may have to fly Doctor Normal in so he can uh, put together one of these fabulous uh, studio setups for us. Yeah. Do you guys have an IKEA there? Um, what's that? A store of some sort? It is a store of some sort. Mm-hmm. Um. I don't know. I'm still in Gainesville. We don't have one in Gainesville. It's oh. Swedish. It's Swedish. First, first, first you need the furniture, you know that, and then the electronic equipment will follow after, just magically. And then they have a Swedish porn as you're uh, going out the... And I'm meatballs. I'm not sure it turned be much for Ikea. Mm, they have really good meatballs, though, Fabby. Really good meatballs. Really? Yeah. I, I mean... Mm. I it's just, a great... Uh, there's a great song about Ikea by um, an artist whose name escapes me. But I'm sure Dr. Normal knows who it is. Um, I do not. Damn it. I don't know. It sounds like something MC that's, Chris would do, but... That's no. Right. Um, Weird Al Yankovic? No, 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 no. This guy. <laughs> I'll come up with it eventually. I could Google it. Uh, no, I'm going to do that right now. Oh, okay. I don't get to sing my Googling song. So... Jonathan, as I, as I stepped away, Jonathan who? Colton. Colton. Oh, I've heard oh, yeah, of him. Jonathan yeah, yeah. Colton does all the genius. tech stuff. Yeah, mm-hmm. song a week. Oh, did, he's a, is he the one that did the cubicle song? Yes, I yeah. think so. Yeah. Yeah, I loved the cubicle song. Yep. I'm there not going to sing it. I'm going to save all. I sang last night on on the show, but I'm going to sing all. Uh, I'm going to save all other singing for your um for your. Your big show, your big uh, duet show. So just to re- duet show three. Mm-hmm. So just to recap, you're you're moving from Florida, which sounds like this, right? Swing in Florida, and you're moving to uh, Kentucky. That's nice. That's nice. Little like rolling hills, kind of yeah. out on the porch with your laptop. Mint julep, horses running across the field. Very nice, very nice. 
All right. Uh, I don't know why I did that. That was nice, but uh, that, that was nice. That was kind of refreshing. Huh? That was the NPR was moment. Nice that was the This American Life. Movie. What you missed was that glass. he's moving pointless drivel and the pointless drivel empire to Kentucky so that he can be part of a powerful diabolical blogging couple. What is in yes. Kentucky other than bourbon? Uh, other than true love, my friend. Horses. Once you have true love, what else do you need? Oh God. Where's your music for that? I'm sorry. Where's your music for that? It's right here. This is the true da, love da, music. Da, right? da, Jeez, da, Mr. Chaos. Da, 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 Actually, it's even better than that. Oh, wait. I'm sure he has something good for us. And you can just, you know, say, there's your true love music, right? Little Nat King Cole. Oh, the there intro. You go. This is actually our song. Not me and Fab, but me and Cammy Chaos. I was going to say, I didn't know that you and Fab had a song. Mona Lisa, this is our song? Have this is God, not our song. Key. This is so not our song. My name is not Mona, nor is it Lisa. Sing. No, I'm not going to sing. I just told Fabby I'm not going to sing on air again until his duet show. All right. Oh, the duet show. Yeah. I, I, I made an exception last night to sing a late happy birthday to Bram, but I'm not singing on the air again until Fabby's duet show. Do we have duet songs picked out? I have mine. Hey, Fabby, did my song come through? Do you know if I can? Uh, I can't remember what you picked. What did you pick? Witchcraft. And now you're talking about the, I didn't know it was done as a duet, but you're talking about the, the standard that um, Frank Sinatra sang? Yes. Witchcraft. Oh, yeah, we can get that. No problem. Okay, that's what I want to yeah. do. I love that song, and I think that would be super fun for us. Can I do one? Super. Super duper. Oh, Mr. Chaos has a very special one that he wants to do with you. Can I do one? Sure, he can do one. He can do one with me or with Turn Baby, since she'll be there too. So, well, I was thinking of you, because mm-hmm. you know he loves you. Yeah, big we sweaty you. love. Exactly. Yes, your show with Mister Chaos would be big sweaty love. My show is strange love. Are Go you a figure. Frank? Are you a Frank Zappa fan? No. No. Are you a Frank Zappa hater? No. Okay. Okay. That's fine. I'm good. I'm indifferent about Frank Zappa. He wants to do a Frank Zappa tune with you. I'm not going to say which one. Why not? Well, it we'll wouldn't matter because I, I don't know any of them. Oh, you, you're made for the part. Not unless it's the yellow snow one. It's not the yellow snow. He'll email you. That, did he have more than that one song? Oh, yeah. Tons of songs. <laughs> Dynamo Hum. You're, yeah. you're harming. Um, not only are you harming Mr. Chaos with your lack of Zappa knowledge, but I think you're, you're um, maybe harming Sybil as well. Oh, and Joe apparently is also a uh, Zappa Harter. Joe. Bouffois. Well, you should be listening to Jonathan wow. Colton instead. Mm. So. Are you aware that we have our we have a bunch of uh, overseas people? And by a bunch, I think I mean two. But we have overseas people on the chat room listening right now to you and your lovely tones, Mr. Fab. Really? That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I am in international, international, as you know. Oh, I bring in the international audience. Last night, we had people from Brazil. And somewhere else. Of course, I didn't speak to them because I don't speak Portuguese or Spanish, but... But luckily one of the guests did. <laughs> people live in Brazil? Yes, there are people who live there. It's not just a wax anymore. Actually, Brazil... Can I, uh, very nice. May I make a suggestion? You may. Um, perhaps you can pick some up next time you're at that Ikea you talk about? Some Brazilians? No, no, they're... Um, they're they don't have to be round, but usually they're round, and you put your drink on them. Oh, a coaster. And they're called coasters. That way you don't have to keep wiping the table down. Or wiping? we could use this lovely coaster that I made myself. Yeah. Out of what? It's a, out of an old used CD. I painted it and made it look pretty. Oh. I like to make coasters out of human skin. Oh, you like to make lots of things out of human skin. You're so crafty. I really am. You totally are with like your sculpty and your human skin craftiness and stuff. I actually, I actually want to start to see if I can paint. And I actually was at the paint store, the painting store, the craft store today. Mm-hmm. But I was overwhelmed by all the choices of what kind of painting, uh, paints you- and canvases and brushes, and it was all too much. It blew my mind. So then I instead went to the restaurant and had them that margarita. So that's nice. That's what I like to do when I'm overwhelmed. I like to go drink. Exactly. Mm-hmm. What kind of painting do you want to do, do you think? Um, well, not like houses. No, like no, no. Pictures. Yes. But, you know, like oil, 
watercolor. I thought toll. maybe acrylic. Acrylic. Should I start with acrylic? You can start with anything you want to. What do you think, though? You're the you're the artistic one. I am the artistic one. Well, you know, I'm I. Write, let's face it. I mostly write dick jokes. So. You write good dick jokes, though. Well, yeah, but thank you. But still, I am more of a uh, digital artist. My actual paintings are more abstract and messy, uh, but I I enjoy the acrylic paint a lot. I have a friend who does very well with watercolor. As a matter of fact, soon we will be putting up on this wall behind us a lovely painting that my friend did of Mr. KS and I. And if I could find it right now, I'd well, show the, it to all of you. There's the a big, painting of me on the wall. The big watercolor right there. Um, of me wearing a crown when I kind of look like Dame Edna. But there's a very nice watercolor painting of Mr. KS and I somewhere in the studio that my friend painted for us a long time ago. And we've Dame never Ed- had use for it. Dame Edna's. What? Dame Edna's hot. Thank you. Um, well, we have the perfect room in the new house, too, for um, a studio. We're, we're calling it right now the Red Room. It's the, um, it's the third floor, and it's all done in this really weird – the wall is actually covered in really weird um, reddish vel- – not velvet, but fabric. Mm-hmm. Um, it's just it, – we'll show I'm you some a, I'm pictures. a little envious of that. I wanted to paint um, this entire studio red. But I don't think that Mr. Chaos was really going to go for that. That's my. You know, I like red. I always wanted to paint one of our bathrooms here, um, all in all, all red and black. Mm-hmm. Either red walls, black fixtures, or the other way around. I thought it would look awesome. I think that would look really. I'm. I'm kind of a. You know, I, I hold tight to my gothy roots sometimes, and a nice red and black room. I think you can't go wrong. You get a little crystal chandelier in there. And and it's all red and black and morbid and looks like you could kill somebody in it. And no one would notice. Yeah. That's a good room. Unfortunately, Turn Baby has more traditional, stylish taste, so I don't think I don't think I'll be allowed to have my dream bathroom there either. But oh. such is life. Well, you know, you'll survive the things you do for love. You'll live. The things you do for strange love. Exactly. You come on the show at one thirty in the afternoon. Drinking water yeah. and babble with us. Well, I'll probably have some vodka later, but that's good. Hey, Mr. Chaos, can I paint a bathroom black and red and hang a crystal chandelier in it? Only in the basement. Really? Yeah, but we have to have a ba- bathroom in the basement first. Okay. Thank you, baby. See how easy that is. You can do anything you want in the basement. Remember? Do you see how easy that is, Fabby? You just have to, you know, ask nicely. Dungeon. And have cleavage. Yeah, I was gonna say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or yes. I can work up a little cleavage, you know, but not like some. No, I I actually don't have to work to get the cleavage. I just have to wear a low-cut shirt. You know, while we were talking about painting and all that, I just had an idea of painting. What sort of paint would work best? I'm, think, I'm thinking now of perhaps doing a series of paintings using, instead of a brush, my, uh, my schwanz. Would that, is that be acrylic best for that, or? Uh, I would worry um, that it could get into your urethra. Uh, I might well, I would want to use something plaster in there or something. So I, I would consider something water based for that, and then putting a sealant over it when you're done. Not your not your penis, putting a sealant over the the painting. Thank you for clarifying because I was taking notes. That's yes, good. yes. So, That's so my more- penis <laughs> is hermetically sealed. <laughs> yes, we keep really? Mr. Chaos's penis very tidy and neat. Yes, and out of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's, so, that, but you said water based paint. You said a water based paint. Yeah, a water based paint. Anything that says non toxic water based, and and actually, you mm. might find it in the kids section because it, it's often used oh. because it washes out of clothing well, and then you can just use a sealant over it, and it won't come off. All right, so I can, I, uh, so I can, kind of ingest that. I wouldn't uh, eat it, but it, it's well, not no, going to harm. I mean, you. it could it could it could leak into the, the situation there and not hurt me. Correct. And this uh. has been the good urethra health <laughs> moment on Strange Love. Remember, it's urethra health month. No, it's not. Keep your urethra healthy. Urethra. I, I, I said it. That was the third time I screwed it up. <laughs> 
I'm not going to have to like stick it in turpentine to clean it afterwards, right? No, because like, it's water based. So Since it's water based, water it means it'll wash up with water and maybe a little soap. Oh, hence the sealant afterwards. For yes, the that's why you, exactly you seal the painting afterwards so that it doesn't wash off if it gets wet. Well, this is all locking into place now. I have amazing knowledge for someone who doesn't have a penis. I'm really now impressed I know with exactly myself. What to go and get? Yeah, just don't um, tell them it's for your penis. You know, the elephant like at our zoo paints with its trunk, so I don't see why you can't paint with your penis. <laughs> and the monkeys um, paint um, with um, poo, so that's always good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm envious of your zoo. We have a nice zoo. There is, there's, there's teaching zoo here, but there's not um, any other kind. It's not a real zoo. Is there a zoo where you're moving? I don't know. I better Google that, huh? You should. You should find these things out. It's a lot of, hor- it's a lot of horses. I know that. Mm-hmm. It's the horse. Lexington Kentucky is the Derby. horse capital of the world. Yeah. That makes sense. And bourbon. And bourbon. Yeah, horses and bourbon. Yeah. I'm not a bourbon guy, but oh. neither am I. I'm not into bourbon, and I'm not a guy, so I totally don't qualify yeah. for that. Are you into horses? Um, <laughs> you don't have to answer that. You know, there was it this, could incriminate there you. There was this time at a at a show with a donkey where I did some things, but horses, not specifically. No, that was down in Havana. Turn baby, turn baby is very fond of horses. I'm sure I will come to know many horses. Not know in the biblical sense, I hope. Well, let's take it one step at a time. <laughs> go slow. I'm just go saying. Slow. Now there <sighs> would be some strange. Exactly. Yeah, I think we'd have to come up with a different word than strange. Let's think of a word uh, that's not ec- strange. <laughs> Equintastic. Equintastic love. There you go. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. See? You're versed on the uh, terminology and everything. So is this place in the city doing- or out in the country or how, do, how does this work? Oh, Sybil wants to know uh, if someone uh, just burped. Did anyone just burp? Not me. Not me. Mr. Chaos. Tell, it, tell him it was Sybil. Oh, Sybil, it was you burping. And it was so loud that we could hear it all the way from Ohio to Portland it's on like the microphone. When you came down here in the studio and I was getting set up and you were like, did you fart down there? And I'm like, <laughs> no, but we had like four people locked in this room for like five hours last night. So. Oh, good times. Sybil lives in Ohio. That's awesome. That's one of the exciting things about moving to Kentucky is I've never been to Kentucky and it borders seven states, six of which I have spent absolutely no time in. So, And Tennessee I've spent a little time in, so. Um, it borders Ohio, so now Sybil can come visit. And all bloggers are welcome to come visit us. Open invitation. In fact, we're going to be having a party sometime in late August. That all blog. I don't know if any how many bloggers will be able to come, but all certainly all will be welcome. I will not be there because I will not be near Kentucky in August because I have my own special things going on in the month of August, such as. <laughs> Uh, getting my daughter ready to go back to school, probably. Um, what is your daughter? Painting my fingernails, washing my hair. Painting the house um, with your penis? I Kay is, I don't have a, well, I do. It's just not in my pants, but um, Kay is six. Oh. So, so be, she needs help to get ready for school? Yes. We, you know, contrary to the credit belief, card, we can't her send cab. her off to the store yet. She's just not, you know, she's not ready for it. But no, so you're going to have a big bloggy party in August, something like the Tequila Con kind of thing, or or more like specifically for blog. Although we will be we'll be going down to Adams um, for the Halloween party Mm -hmm. in November. We'll be going on a vacation of our own next month. I have to come. I have to come back down here to Gainesville Mm -hmm. for the final divorce hearing on the 11th, and Mm -hmm. then Turnby and I will be going to Savannah for a couple days, and then Myrtle Beach for a week. Very nice. Kind of celebratory, vacation-y goodness. And who knows what can happen at the Myrtle Beach? Who knows? So, who knows? Who Maybe knows? another one of donkey sex shows. There you go. Make sure that you get a really good videographer for that kind of thing. Oh, absolutely. You got a plan. You got a plan. Yeah. Absolutely. Yes. I yes. just don't know where to go Sybil from the donkey show. Sybil says she's close to me, so. Yes, she's going to be very Lexington, close to you. Lexington, baby. Lexington. And Mr. Uh, Dr. Normal seemed to be asking specifically about where 
I would be living. I'm not sure if he wants to be stalking me or... Well, I'd just be one of many, right? Yeah, you have lots of stalkers, honey. Fabby? It'll be right it'll be right in the city. Yeah. He'll be yeah. easily stalked. Will, will you be living on a horse track? No, it'll be a lovely little cul-de-sac and a fabulous subdivision. Ah, uh, subdivisions. Subdivisions. It's a lovely house. Turn baby picked it out. Big house. Oh, so wow. lots of room for um, all sorts of hijinks, which I'm sure will ensue. Now she's moving there too. Or is it the house she, she already lives in? She already no. Uh, she um, recently relocated her empire, but simply across town. Ah, oh, very nice. Now, was oh. it to uh, procure a a home for the both of you to have your podcast glory in? Um, I think less I'm about sorry, the what? podcast and more about other things, probably. Yeah, yeah there'll be lots of glory. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll be doing the podcast as well. If we can, uh, ap- apparently, we seem to be having wireless router issues. So, oh no! Hopefully those- I know. And I'm having my own I- iTunes issues here. So many, many things are up in the air. Many, many technical difficulties. But we will get them all sorted out. Yeah, I think Mr. Chaos noted some of your uh, I- iTunes woes the other day. Yes, did I did? Have I been complaining about iTunes? No, he just noticed. No, you're just that not up were, on there. Yeah, he noticed that there was no fabby, no fabulous presence on the iTunes. Oh, is there usually? Uh, no. No, that's the issue. Oh. You're not there. We just got us there. Oh, I thought I was on there automatically. No. We haven't been able to find uh, you on it. Well, here's the thing about Blog Talk Radio. It's one of those rare instances in life where you find something that both sucks and blows. <laughs> uh, you know, I like your setup here. This is nice. So Thank you. you. This, so are you going to start the uh, the empire? I mean, you guys are both on Blog Talk Radio, so is there something new planned there? Oh, yeah. What's the scoop on Blog I know that you and Blog Talk Radio have not always had the friendliest of, you know, um, relationships. Well, um, Alan Levy, who is the CEO of Blog Talk Radio, and I have not always seen eye to eye. Mm-hmm. Um, um, so, um, I should have shanked him when I had the chance in Vegas last year when I met him. <laughs> didn't Are you because in we're in the middle of the trade show and there are a lot of people around. Yeah. A couple. Yeah. It was in Vegas. The time before last I was in Vegas, it was at a trade show and he was there and I should have shanked him, but I didn't, but I could have saved myself a lot of headaches in the subsequent months, but that's too bad. But then someone else, some other talking head figure would have taken over and maybe it would have been worse. No, because I think he was bankrolling a lot of it. So if I had managed to take him out, um, then, you know, I would almost rather there be no Blog Talk Radio than for me to have to be on Blog Talk Radio. You ever notice now all the ads on Blog Talk Radio? There's an ad before the shows. There's ads during the shows. There's pop-ups here. There's sidebar ads here. You know I, have much, a, you know yeah, I have a ads, problem. You know, how much money I make off that? you know how much money I make off those ads? Nothing. Exactly. Oh, I think I just got in trouble for making that, a loud noise in the microphone. <laughs> that, um, are you allowed to swear on this show? Uh, we've never stopped anyone before. That cocksucker Alan Levy's making all the goddamn money. That's what's happening there. Hey, what happened to the smooth and sophisticated Mr. Fab I promised you in the beginning? I don't know. Where did he go? This is why we can't have nice things. It's the Please. penis urethra thing. It threw us off. Every I started thinking about painting with my, with my penis. That's true. Mm-hmm. It well, all went downhill. You know, I don't know what to say. Garrison Maybe. Keeler, I'm not. No, no. I don't think Garrison Keeler right. would want to come on our you show. You might be. You know, you get down there in Kentucky and you, uh, <laughs> you're sitting there watching the uh, horses, drinking your mint julep. You might, you know, get really reflective and start blogging about life's changes and... I don't know. Your neighbor's next door. Life changes. Is he going through menopause? Uh, Is that you don't like at that age, aren't I? Swarmy River or something? What are yeah. you yes. playing for yeah. us? What about my tough home? Swanee River is actually in Florida. I'm leaving Florida. No, I don't know what the hell this is. It's just the it's best thing Swanee I could do River. for Kentucky. Yeah, this is about Kentucky, Kentucky Rain by Elvis. Yeah, I was I was actually thinking about pulling that up somewhere. 
You were thinking about it, but you didn't do it. Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh, I don't know why I put up with you. (laughs) Had something to do with (laughs) podcasting for five hours last night. Yeah. Kentucky Rain. Kentucky Rain. Why were you podcasting for five hours? It wasn't really five hours. He's a drama queen. It was about five hours. Oh, he's... Five hours of my time. (laughs) Okay, that's true. You know, you put on three hours of podcast. So what happened is we had Craig from Toonlit, which was awesome because I'm, I love Toonlit. And I was very excited that he was willing to come on our show. Apparently, it was the first media appearance they'd ever done. And then I was all happy because someone called me media. I was like, oh, Cammy's media, la, la, la. And then because we knew he was only going to be on for half hour, we had our really good friends, Martin and uh, Miss Burroughs, who are the brains behind... Uh, Treasure Licious. Treasurelicious.com. Expose your treasures on the web. Come on the show because they were hanging out with us yesterday anyway. And we did that was our little tech podcast. And then when we stopped and we went off the air and we were no longer live, the 17 billion people in the chat room, which were actually like four, started to riot and tell us that we should not be off the air. And so we went and we did Strange Love After Hours, which was just a bunch of uh, exhausted babble. Somebody poke Fabby. I think he just fell asleep. It occurs to me that none of that was about me. Exactly. Well, you asked about last night. I was (laughs) dreaming of you the entire time, I swear. Just... Give me a, just give me a, a little news bit. Well, give me a little snippet. That's all I want. Okay. Yeah, he wanted to know. Just cut we to the were part talking... where you took your tops off live no, on no. the stream. And... <laughs> oh no, media chick asked face. us to take our tops off, but we never did. Yeah, and you and Miss Burroughs kind of got going on the couch there, and yeah, it's very nice. That I'd was... like it noted, for the record, um, in spite of the conventional wisdom, that I have not asked you to take your top off. So. I appreciate that, Fabby. I would like it noted that I had two tops on before the show started, and I took one of them off of my own free will. I did notice that, and and there may have been a moment there where I'm going, okay, there's one, there's one. <laughs> yeah, but I reined it in. I appreciate that. That was very gentlemanly of you. I think it, it, it has a lot to do with your respect of Mister Chaos, and less to do with your gentlemanly nature. I actually have, you know, and some people may not believe this, but I actually have a very gentlemanly nature. I actually do believe that. I actually, I I am, I am actually polite to a fault and very respectful and of, of people and, uh, um, you know, but, um, you know, but I do what I do for the comedy, so. Apparently we're having a little technical Ustream uh, difficulty and the sound is gone. Doesn't surprise me. But I'm going to keep talking to Fabby because we're recording this sucks. and we're going to post it later. So it doesn't really matter. They'll live. They'll survive. You can't hear me here. No, we can hear you just fine. I was just looking at the chat room and word from the chat room is that we have filthy mouths and that uh, they can't hear us. I wonder if one has to do anything with the other. Essentially, everyone sounds <laughs> like they're in The Exorcist right now. Oh, half of them are from other countries anyway and the other half are here illegally, so it really doesn't make much difference. Satan has possessed Ustream at this point. I am that devil. Uh, Pretty much, yep. Yeah, I think we've got two Portland peeps, and uh, let's see, then you, and then someone who I believe is in Amsterdam. I'm probably smoking crack. He's not in Amsterdam. Steve, where are you? Not in Amsterdam. I'm a tired person. Then Joe, who's in England. And then the bot, which is in Botland. Botland. Botland, where the bots come from. Hey, your picture just went out. I think uh, Mr. Chaos is rebooting Ustream so that people can see and hear again. Now, I did mean to add, despite, you know, uh uh-oh, I've got an Internet Explorer error on my thing. Oh, no. I'm not going to touch anything. I'm just going to keep talking to you. Yes, keep your hands away from the computer and everything should be just fine. So, well, if my hands aren't on the computer, they got to be somewhere, so you, you can use your imagination. As long as you're quiet about it, that's fine with us. Ah, it's not one of my better things. I'm very vocal. <laughs> so you're moving a week from yesterday? Yes. Um, they will, uh, the, the pod, the U-Cube, U-Pack Cube people will be dropping off my cube um, on Thursday morning, and then I'll come back from work on Thursday evening. Mm-hmm. Load the cue ball up and lock it up, and then load my car up, and then I will leave at 6 a.m. on Friday, 
and they will come and pick up their cube on Friday and deliver it to me sometime the following week, probably Wednesday in Lexington. Okay, now I have a question, and it is potentially, I'm not even being sarcastic, it's potentially a very painful question, but I have to ask it anyway, because okay. people want to know, who are the bunnies going to be with? Uh, the bunnies, unfortunately, um, I, uh, Mrs. Fab did not want the bunnies. Mm. Uh, she felt, uh, partly that they would be too, um, too much of a reminder. Mm -hmm. And then also that she felt that she didn't, she had never really bonded with them as much as she had bonded with bunnies we'd had previously. So mm. I was tasked with, um, having to find a home for them. Um, and after about 30 days of asking everyone I knew. Um, and going through every possible avenue I could, including uh, at one point I even um, um, contacted PETA to ask if they knew of anybody. Um, I eventually, unfortunately, had to bring them to the mm. Lachapur County Animal Shelter. Rabbit. However, you stop, however, Mr. Chaos. Mm. Stop it, Mr. Chaos. Please continue, Fabby. Mr. Chaos is German. However, the uh, awesome. the animal shelter. What did he say? He's being, he's not being appropriate. Mm. Yeah, I actually don't find much humor in that. Rabbit. Um, he's German. We can't fault him. The Germans like to eat the rabbit. So I'm sorry. I actually wanted to know for real reasons. The animal shelter said. Uh, the animal shelter actually has a um, very good relationship with um, Gainesville Animal Rescue, who for some reason I was not, I was never able to get a hold of. So they will either, I'm, I'm positive that they will either be, if they weren't adopted there at the shelter, then they will go to uh, Gainesville Rabbit Rescue and someone will adopt them from there. Gainesville Rabbit Rescue is actually where we got the rabbits in the, for the, in the first place. Mm -hmm. so I'm sure they'll be fine. And Mrs. Fab uh, um, then went out and got a cat. So hmm. Because she couldn't have a cat around the bunnies previously? Yeah, she yeah, but she'd always wanted a cat, so she has a cat. Although now she's not here for this last week, and I'm left taking care of the cat. So. Oh, that's uncomfortable. How many rabbits are we yeah. talking about? There's two. There were two bunnies, right? Uh, three. Three. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're right. Of course, you're right. They were your bunnies, but all the onion bear. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm sad. I have a rabbit well, sure story they're... from my childhood. I think Mr. Chaos wants to share his rabbit story. I had a pet rabbit okay. who would chase the cat. And then we moved from inner city Portland out to rural Milwaukee at the time, which didn't make any sense. So my, you know, it was probably illegal to have a rabbit in the city. I don't know, but who knows? Portland has some weird laws. Um, and so we had to get rid of the rabbit. And a year later, I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking about a rabbit Fritzy. My dad's like, yeah, we, they, 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 they essentially found a home for, for Fritzy. It wasn't that kind of a home, though. Peter wouldn't have approved. Well, yeah. And I cried, man. I cried. I did. So that's my rabbit story. That was very uplifting. Awesome. That yeah. was my childhood rabbit story. Very similar to my childhood chicken story, actually. Now, are you a vegetarian? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I'm so sorry. No. Okay. <laughs> Not at all. Why would you ask that? It's so funny. I don't know. Yeah. Why would you ask if Fabby was a vegetarian? Haven't you read any of his posts yeah. ever? No. I mean, he was a little sensitive about the rabbits. And they I was were just his pets, curious. you dingbat. I know. Ugh. Have you ever, have you ever eaten what rabbit? If I, what if I talked about, you know, eating your little girl? So, you yeah. know. Oh, no. <laughs> well, you could talk about eating our no, cats. No, no. And then I'd cry because... Yeah. Mr. Mr. That's Chaos. That's cannibalism. Mr. Chaos That's a is whole not very different sensitive. Realm. But if you ate my cats or talked about eating my cats, I would cry like a I little baby. I hear cats are not good eating, though. Probably not. I don't like rabbit. Really? I like bunnies, but I don't like to eat bunnies. They're too cute. That they are just about the cutest animal on the planet. They're really cute. What bunnies? Bunnies are so cute. They're the meanest sons of bitches in the world. I, they're the mean. I know this. That, that 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 rabbit we had was always biting my grandma and biting and nipping at people. They're, they got a mean. Well, your temper. grandma, your grandma was a horrible human being. So. Yes, she was. Oh <laughs> no! no. She, had it, she had it coming. <laughs> That's okay. That that new house of yours, you know, when you see an old woman like haunting your house, you'll know where it came from. 
Oh, Grandma's not going to be haunting his house in Kentucky. Grandma lived to be 96. Not in Kentucky. Yeah. yeah. If I saw Grandma out there on the front lawn, I would just say, bring it, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Grandma would make it she if there was a bus going out there, trust me. She, she, she could hold her own. But, uh, I'll have to yeah. check and see what kind of bus service there is in Lexington. Exactly. Yeah, do you know, what, what do you know about the city of Lexington? Do you guys have good public transit? I don't know. We have cars, though, so. Oh, see. Cars kill the earth. I love saying things like that. I shouldn't drink margaritas at uh, 11 o'clock so I, in the I morning. I gotta ask, so your bunnies weren't mean? They were not No, mean. not at all. Really? No. Man. You never saw any of the pictures with Fabi and his crappy, bunnies? Crappy tempers. He doesn't read. He doesn't read the book. He doesn't care. No, he doesn't. Um, I do. I, I, he's an uncaring well, I care about jerk. Here. I'm 46 years old. I probably got, if I'm lucky... 20 years left, the outside. What do I care about the earth? You think you're going to die at 66? Oh, if I'm lucky. I, I may not make it till 50, but we'll see. Let's hope. Let's hope that you live Across a little longer. Are you working on that? But Are you I, working on that longevity? I'm going to be working on longevity more when I get up to Lexington. Very nice. Very, very good. You know, more eating right, more exercise. Oh, awesome. Is, is Turn Baby a lot healthier than you, and is she going to take good care of you? Turn Baby is an awesome cook. So finally, not all my meals will be coming out of a microwave or something. So That's very good. Yeah, I saw your post the other day with all the microwave food and the uh, vodka. Well, that's because I was left on my own all of a sudden. So Yeah, and you don't know how to fend for yourself. I was not expecting that. I got an email at 6 o'clock on Thursday saying, I'm on, and I'm not going to come back until you're gone. So. Hmm. Take care of the cat. And here, you better get some food. So there was my, that was my shopping trip. Vodka and fried food. Wow. Do you have a fry baby or did you just nuke it? I just nuke him. Yeah. Yeah. Do I don't you, have time for that other stuff. Yeah. What do you like to eat? Do you like fish? I like, I like catfish. I like, I, like, I like fried catfish. I like grilled salmon. Ooh. That's very tasty. Um, I just like all sorts of things. <laughs> Turn Baby makes a really mean bacon wrapped tater tot. Mm, I said, which is not necessarily health food. But no, it's not. But that sounds good. You know, that would go. Share, that'd be big with the Portland crowd. Love. We share an unholy love of bacon. Bacon is. You belong in Portland. Suddenly, bacon's the big thing in Portland. If you're not a vegetarian in in uh, Portland, then you're a bacon person. Really? Yeah. Even some of the vegetarians in Portland like they bacon. They throw bacon at vegetarians. Yeah, Portland and bacon go hand in hand. It, it, you wouldn't think it, but Portland people, we love the bacon. They grab you vegetarians. Know what it's, it, I learned it's possible to actually have too much bacon, though. Were you aware of that? Yes. Yes, but I tried well, to last dose time it time I was in Vegas, mm-hmm. the last day we were there, we, had a, we went to an all-you-could-eat buffet at the restaurant, and I just had like four trips to up there for bacon. And um, I'm fairly certain I lost a large part of my colon that day. Mm. You know? But did you find the colon, like, in the elevator or something and just kind of shove it back in? No, no. I just lost it. It was like the phone. I lost the phone in the cab. I lost the colon somewhere. Mm-hmm. I think downtown Vegas, during, in old Vegas. Mm-hmm. Um, we got the phone back. Never did get the colon back. True oh, story. Oh, that's sad. Because the phone, it's kind of replaceable. And the colon, not so much. Yeah, actually, I got the phone back, but I still use the. I still still use Clive. I don't. Uh, I don't use um, Fred at all. So, I never named my phone. Do you think that you have a better relationship with your phone because it has a name? Definitely. And for the first time, I've named my car. Do you name? You ever name your cars? I don't drive. Okay. Does Doctor Normal name his car? Uh, no. Okay. They're called cars. What do you say? Don't say it like that, dude. That's not true. Our daughter named the car. She named it Herbie. She did? Herbie? Oh, well, okay. I guess she did. Yeah. What a, what a prodigy you've got there. Yeah. It's a Volkswagen. Um, <laughs> now, why don't you drive? You just choose not to drive? or? Yeah, I do. I choose, I choose not to drive. I've never... Let's see. I think I've driven four times in my life. It's because you have a right. personal chauffeur. <laughs> it's because I have a personal chauffeur named Mr. Chaos. And I live in Portland oh. where if I don't want to drive, I don't have to. I can walk or take the bus or take the train. But Portland's big. 
You can't walk too many places, right? We can walk anywhere in our neighborhood. We we live in a very foot friendly neighborhood. Okay. Uh, we've got just about everything we need in the neighborhood, and then Portland itself has uh, sometimes troubled but extensive uh, mass transit system. We have buses, and we have uh, what we call Max. It's a light rail train. Are there stores near the neighborhood you can walk to, or no? There are stores in the neighborhood that I walk to. Okay, that's cool. Then. Oh, that's and cool. I'm sorry, Bram. Bram is right. Bram on the chat room is pointing out that Portland is very bike friendly, although our cyclists sometimes get hit by cars. He didn't point out the getting hit by car part, but I actually have that's a bicycle that I use a lot. Uh, Gainesville, very, um, very bike friendly, very jogger friendly. But yeah, every once in a while, one of them gets clipped. Yeah, it's not good. But yeah, As a matter of fact, I'll, I'll tell you a little story. Um, I uh, clipped one myself last year. Oh, no. A bicyclist or a jogger? A uh, bicyclist. Mm-hmm. Um, I was pretty happy about it, actually, although it was an accident. <laughs> He was one of these guys that he had a bike. I don't know if you call it a recumbent bike. I don't know what kind of bike you call it, but his, he sat way, way back on it. I mean, he was almost oh, like. Oh, the he was kind where you're like it. leaning back and your legs are way out in front of you and yeah, you're down lower to yeah. the ground. Yeah, and I was at an intersection um, fixing to turn right once the light turned, and he was coming up on the right, and the light turned, and I turned, and he didn't pay attention to me, and he, well, he hit me really. But he's lucky he didn't go into the car. So, so and he, his bike was ruined. He hit the car. Yeah, he hit, he hit my car. He ran into my car as I turned. What kind of a car was it? Was it like a big, huge, killing people car or a little At that tiny? Point, before I had the uh, the new car. Yeah, it was a, well, it was an SUV, but it wasn't a big one. It was a Santa Fe. But it put him out, put his bike out of commission. So, ouch. So I haven't seen him riding around since then, which is good because those bikes irritate me. Bicyclists need to be as in, you know they need to be more careful than drivers. It's not that I think that drivers have more of a right than bicyclists. It's just that in a in a battle between a car and a bicyclist, the car's going to win every time. So if you're riding a bike, you need to be more aware. And you, as much as you might have the right of way, you should never assume that they're going to give it to you. I agree, and I actually um, I think. Motorists too often um, are looked as the bad guys. When I, you know, probably half the cyclists I see are are doing things they shouldn't be doing. Wow! And, you know, get off, get off, get off the goddamn sidewalk! Don't ride the fucking bike on the sidewalk. Boy, that irritates me. I think there. I think, and and I'm not sure what the exact law is. I'm fine when little kids are riding on the sidewalk. And little kids are learning to ride their bikes. So I'd rather they be on the sidewalk and safe than in the street because even if you're being careful as a driver, when little kids are riding in the street and they're not that proficient with their bicycle, not quite the safest thing. But the the streets of Portland, a lot of them are very narrow, but a lot of them are also very uh, bike friendly. We have a lot more bike lanes than other cities do. Yeah, uh, Gainesville has a, a lot of bike lanes. I'm hoping Lexington has fewer. <laughs> Something tells me Lexington is probably not as bike friendly. But don't you want to expand Gain- your life? Well, you know, you said you're going to eat healthier, take better care of yourself. Riding a bicycle might be good for you. No, I'll walk. I'm, I'm not going to ride a bicycle. Okay. No um, bicycle for fatty. You know, and I'll tell you what. I, even if I did ride a bicycle, I wouldn't be one of these guys that wear helmets. I mean, come on, please. You don't wear – oh, we had this discussion. I'm going to tell the story of Cami Chaos and the reason that I think helmets are wonderful. Are we ready? No, I'm, I'm ready. Then I'll tell you my – Okay, so the only reason I began wearing a helmet was because I have a child, and the law is that children under the age of 16 have to wear a helmet. And I think it's a great law because I don't want the children to get damaged when they fall off of their bike. So – in order to encourage our child to wear a helmet when she's on roller skates or a scooter or a bicycle, I began wearing a helmet. So I got a hot pink helmet and I put a Got Ink sticker on it and a Betty Page sticker on it and a little skull sticker on the front because I'm cool like that. And I began Mm -hmm. wearing my helmet anytime I rode my bicycle. Mr. Chaos and I went out on a date night one night and because our neighborhood is very walking and bike friendly, we decided instead of walking, we would go ahead and take our bicycles because we had several places we wanted to be. We rode around the neighborhood, and I may have had a little bit more to drink than I should have, and I <clears throat> underestimated the slope of my driveway. 
rode my bicycle, tried to ride my bicycle up the driveway. And my bicycle is just a cruiser. It doesn't have speeds. It doesn't have gears. It's just um, like a beach cruiser bicycle. Tried to ride my bicycle up my driveway, fell off my bicycle, straight back off the bicycle, pulled the bicycle on top of myself, and if I ha- and smacked my head into the concrete so hard wearing the helmet that it actually hurt with the helmet on. If I had not been wearing the helmet, I know there would have been blood all over my uh, driveway. That is why I like helmets. Well, the lesson there is not really to wear a helmet. The lesson <laughs> there is not to drink when you're bicycling, right? No, the, the lesson is both. Don't drink when you're bicycling and wear a helmet. Well, now, when I was in, now I, when, when Mr. Fabulous was just, just be, be, before I was fabulous, when I was in junior high school, um, I was hit by a car uh, on Route 9 while I was riding, a bi- riding my bike. Did not have a helmet. Got, got actually went flying over the car and, and into the road um, and lost consciousness. Um, but um, was fine. Did not wear a helmet. Did not wear a helmet after that. Got hit again like two years later um, uh, by another car. Um, survive that. Um, so arguably, you know, there's twice I got nailed pretty good by cars without wearing a helmet, and arguably I'm almost perfectly normal. You have a magic skull, apparently. Not all of us have a magic skull. Well, I, and I've opined this a couple times on the blog, um, because there's that, the fact I've never broken a bone. Um, it could be that I'm immortal. I'm going to knock on wood here and tell you I'm knocking so hard on wood. I've never broken a bone either. See, maybe you're immortal. Me neither. Maybe. Oh, you haven't either? No. Man, our kid is immortal too. Yeah, he's knocking on wood as well. I did gymnastics for a a long time of my youth, and I had all sorts of horrible uh, falls and sprains that should have led to unpleasantness, and it never happened. Does Dr. Normal have a bicycle as well? Yes. Does he wear a helmet? Yes. Yes. I can see why you have the penis. Why I have the penis? Why you have his penis, because obviously a man who rides a bicycle wears a helmet. There's something. His penis is much happier because he wears a helmet. But I don't. (laughs) Yeah. Everything that you think I make him do, really, he does willingly because of the way I treat him. That's that's not a helmet, honey. That's a padded seat. That's true. We did get him a special padded seat well, so that it wouldn't hurt his guys. Yeah. Then you'll screw up your penis. We don't want to mess with the penis. I like his penis mm. to be in good shape. You know, you can get those kits where you can make a cast of his penis. Why would you I can always a have cast? it with? Well, if for some reason he gets hit by a bus or something. Because of all that public transportation. Um, Perhaps yeah. maybe he's not able to use his penis for a while. Then you have, you, you take that one out. You, oh, don't say that. Same. <laughs> um, Come on, we're in our 40s. Let's not be talking that way. Yeah, see. But hey, we've got miracle pills now. <laughs> Let's not say bad <laughs> things about the potential badness. Turn a 75-year-old it man into Ron Jeremy. Mr. Chaos has to keep going. Part of the reason I married him was the agreement that I would get to have good sex. And when is that agreement going to kick in? Oh, there's a reason that there's no cameras allowed in our bedroom. The entire world would then be jealous. <laughs> Can I ask a question? Yeah. Does he wear the helmet during sex? No. We live okay. dangerously. Oh, so, yeah, the bike riding you need the helmet for, the sex not. Okay. Yeah, we have lots of pillows to pad the headboard. <laughs> oh, this, this, is, this is conjuring up images that I don't really need to have. He looks about. exasperated, too. He's like, God damn it, Cammy. Well, maybe this is, you know, maybe this will just be the second wind of the show, right? The part where I talk about slamming your head into the headboard? Uh, yeah, just talk about my sex life. There you go. There you go. That'll be a different show. That, yeah, I would, I would say that would be, you know, what? I, I know somebody that if we decided to have discussions about sex lives and she wasn't included in the show, who might cry just a little Okay. Yeah. So if we ever have a... We, maybe we should have then a sexuality episode of Strange Love. Maybe we should. We'll yeah. get right on that. Yeah. I'm hopping. Can you hook that awesome. up on Blog Talk Radio for us? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Absolutely. Actually, but, you know, you, you pretty much... Uh, you guys on your show, which I listen to, have a lot of... Um, there's a lot of sexual research that goes on on the show. 
Yeah, you can pick up a few pointers, no doubt about it. And I have. Along with <laughs> along with Daddy Chaos. What did my dad do? What? Well, I just remember the time it was uh, uh, Christmas vacation. Yeah. You know, the the Lord's birth. And uh, we sat down that, on the couch one I'm, night and we we're like, that's well. That's debatable. Let's. Uh, let's Allegedly. Yeah, let's, yeah. Let's, let's listen to, um, yeah, we got nothing going. Let's, let's just have a evening cocktail and. Let's uh, dial up the old family oh, radio show and uh, I we'll listen to Pointless <laughs> Drivel Live. I was in the other room when you guys listened was, to that. Yeah, yeah. I think we learned a lot about different practice, anal practices, all sorts of fun stuff. I, yeah, who was the guest? You learned a lot of terminology. Oh, uh, that one still was on, The Absurdist? I think uh, so. Talk about the f- might have been. Is that the squirting show? Yeah, it might have oh, been, yeah. I lost, I lost readers over that show. Did you? <laughs> Did you? I think I, I think the the one thing we came away with was, you know, Fabi was kind of speechless during that show. Yeah, that one kind of took me by surprise. I'm actually going to be changing, tweaking anyway the format. Um, once I, well, I think I'm I think I'm booked through the end of July, and then I'm going to kind of get away from what I've been doing, which was. All right at first, but now a lot of people have the shows. You know, Jester's got a show. Mm-hmm. Hilly's got a show. Everyone's Carl's got, got a, show. a show. Even I have a show. All kind of, yeah, well, yours is different, though. I don't, uh, but it's all kind of blending in together, and everybody's interviewing everybody. And so I started to change a little bit last week because I'm going to do more quizzes and contests like I did the Dead or Alive, and I'm going to oh, be doing that again this we week. We love Dead or Alive. If I ever come on the show again, I so want to do Dead or Alive. You know what? I happen to have this week's Dead or Alive if you guys want to take a crack at it. Yes. Oh, Mr. Chaos is going to cry. And He's I totally so was going to do my homework and pull up the sound bite, but I forgot while well, I was busy. I was going to have um, the sound bite. I ran them by, I was surprised, Metal Mom. Uh, I don't know, was it Metal Mom last week? Yeah, she, man, she nailed most of them. She did good. I, I was the- listening and I was yelling as I listened. I, if I get Microsoft Word to come up here, I ran them by Turn Baby today, and she got most of them wrong, which surprises me because she usually is the trivia queen. So, hmm. um, let's stick them up here. There's 20, 20 names. Wait, okay. just wait, ready? just a moment. Let's let's stall for just a moment. Someone had to leave yeah. the room for a moment again to deal with you know the shorter people who live in our household. You're sure it's not that she's at one beer and he has the bladder of a hummingbird? or That's possible, too. You know, right, never mind saying. that, you know, it could be anything. <clears throat> he could have been making excuses for leaving the room. He's got three glasses on the table. Who knows what that man has been consuming? What, um, so you have, how long have you been having behavioral problems with your child? I, I wouldn't call it behavioral problems. I would call it, oh, uh, I, I, I would call I, it 11, call- 1130 in the morning on a Saturday, but... <laughs> Is that too early to medicate them? Uh, yeah, I try not to medicate until one o'clock. All right. Yeah, I well, think it's a good rule. It's a good rule of thumb. Yeah, that way they have a few hours to run free, and then and then you dope them yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah, slip some valley into their tuna fish sandwich for lunch, and yeah, yes, yeah, she doesn't eat tuna fish, but you know, the turkey sandwich or the pizza. She doesn't like tuna fish, or is it your are you an anti tuna household? No, she just doesn't like tuna fish. She'll eat chicken salad. Okay. She likes. She's a snob. She likes her fish to be grilled and freshly prepared for her. And I am actually not joking. She likes, you right. know, tilapia and salmon and halibut. She does not like it uh, in salad form. She does not like it to be fried. She does not like it, Sam. I am no. Although she does like that book a lot. It's a book that rocks. Yes, it rocks my socks. Um. Um, uh, and earlier we were talking about cocks. Yes. And how nice. cocks Once are sometimes again, as no. hard as rocks. <laughs> and sometimes when you're alone, you jack off into your socks. Oh, that was nice. That was a really good one. Yeah, I've, I'm trying to bring the conversation down to the, just the, the lowest possible level I can. And sometimes you put pictures of that up on your Vox. <laughs> What box? Vox. Vox is a, isn't it a, like a blogging or Vox. a social? V O X, Vox. V O X. Oh, apparently. If I was a woman, I could put up pictures of my box, but. On your Vox, yeah. But well, since my, you're yeah, not I'm and you don't have a box, that does not. I was a cop. 
That yes, exactly. All you have are cocks. <laughs> one for painting with and one for other things. Oh man, I'm very excited about the cock paintings. You know, I'm hoping that you put them up so that we can see them. Uh, you know, I, not only will I do that, but I undoubtedly they will be offered as prizes. I'm going to have to win one. We'll have to hang it down in here I'm in the Strange gonna, Love Studio. Um, today is my last Saturday squiz because apparently I'm making them too hard. Um, speaking of cocks. I think uh, last week I got about ten of them, so I didn't even bother to guess. Well, there were only ten of them. Okay, then I got about five of them. Okay, I, I got about half of them. My math skills I are think amazing. I we're going to start doing um, after um, next Saturday is do a um, a tune a tunelet every Saturday. So mm, I like I, I support the use of tunelet on the blog. And they got a new thing now, so that's good. A new they need more. They still need more. Well, I can't he, do everything I'd like to do with it, but. They're adding some stuff. We talked to him last night. They're going to add some things. There have been requests for people to add for him to add animals. And uh, then they're going to have some other options that they'll add soon. And he did note that at the very bottom of every page, there's a thing that you can click where you can design your own pack to upload your own stuff. Shut up. So I'm so serious. Shut up. No, really. Really? Really, I checked it out, and I'm you have, have to... time now to do that and my cock paintings. I know Shit. it's going to be difficult. You're going to have to figure out a way to oh, do it. Prioritize. I got to get this iTunes thing fixed. And the cock paintings. And the t- did, does he explain? Maybe I see. If I'd known, I would have asked. Um, they're different side. The little the little dudes are sometimes like even on yours. Like you'll be big, and then you'll be a little smaller, and then the next panel. Is I it the, think is that, it, that. Go ahead. Is it? Depending on the word balloon, or I do. I think it d- completely depends on how much you type into the word balloon. Okay. Because I've noticed that the less it's in there, the larger you're, you are in the thing. Oh. All right. The so I have to bigger make you are. Wordy. Yeah, maybe you're just I a just... little wordy. You just say less, and you have more windows. Yeah, less is more sometimes. Yeah, sometimes less is more. Yeah. And sometimes more is, is he... less. Oh, no doubt about Well, that's pretty much the same thing, isn't I it? I know. Yeah, I was just babbling. To, you Messing know. with my head? You know, I've had a lot of this Dasani, so. Dasani will really, really fuck with your head if you just have too much I'm of it. Messed up, man. But now, I think, in just a matter of moments, we're going to be ready for Dead or Alive. I have, um, I've uploaded all kinds of uh, little uh, sound clips now. I haven't. Come up with one for you, though. I guess I have to do that. For a sound clip for mm. me? Yeah, like if you ever mention or something on the show, or when you come on the show, I need one, something that will play. Like, for example, um, Winter's on the show mm-hmm. tomorrow. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, every once in a while, whenever I want, I can play the Bangles, uh, Hazy, Sh- Hazy Shade of Winter, with some sort of thing. So. Nice. Or like on The Dead or Alive, when you, if you win... It's going to play um, The Winner Takes It All. Oh, very But if you nice. lose, it's going to be I'm a loser, baby, so why don't you kill me? I like that. Yeah, more of that stuff. going to be doing more of that stuff. You yeah, know, you should so. definitely come up with something for me because, you know, I, I'm I am song clip worthy, even though no one ever oh, wrote a Cami I, I, song. No doubt about it. Excuse me? Okay, nobody ever wrote a Cami song except for my husband who's written a couple. Thank you. Yeah. Happy. Maybe you can can you give Fabby some a clip of one of the you know sure so that he has a cami. I have a nice one that when you come on a really aggressive I heard you have a nice. crazy. He does have a really nice one. It's true. Aggressive crazy. Something like this. This is Cami's new theme. Am I going to be upset by this? that nice big tattooed girl comes on the show big tattooed girl oh, big in the right places <laughs> well performed ladies and gentlemen welcome cammy chaos that's where the applause you need the applause button honey. i do i need the applause button Woo! Yeah, yeah. Love you. take your top off oh, wait. i need to make one of these for fabby yeah, I'm not really taking that off. Mm-mm. I could give Fabby this one if he likes it. That doesn't say my name. Okay, so no, now we go Dead or Alive. He's got Dead or Alive, Mike. Let's okay. play it. 
And now, you ready? Yeah. Turn, turn down the music, baby. We have to play Dead or Alive. I'm excited. You like that? Anybody? No. Oh, okay. it was. Lovely. I didn't hear. Oh, I'm you sure did. Oh, sure. you did. Oh, you're oh, right. Because it goes out to the broadcast and not you to know the what? Skype. Oh, so you couldn't hear the music? Yeah, that's okay. I'm. Uh, Jeez, I'm sure Mike. I know exactly I'm why. I still have the internet error thing, and I'm afraid to press it, and then I'm afraid I won't be able to get back. No, so. it was it was on our end, not yours. Let's play Dead or Alive. I'll keep that in you mind ready? next time. Yeah. Renee Richards. A lot. Alive. Get quicker. I'm not good at this. Is he answering for you guys? He's well. I think we'll both yeah, answer. He no, answered that one. It's mine, because I'm the guy who screws this and up. The answer was alive. That's correct. Oh, Jesus. Carl Sagan. Dead. Jesus is dead. Very Sagan good. is dead. You're right. <laughs> Jimmy Breslin. I think he's dead. No. He's uh, alive. Ugh. Andy Williams. Oh, wow. You know, it, it, my default answer is always dead, but I'm going to say he's alive. Alive? I think he's alive. He is alive. Oh, jeez. This is really nerve Betty Ford. <laughs> Who did you say? Betty Ford. Betty Ford. Betty Ford. She's dead. Yeah, I think she's dead. He's alive. Oh, damn. She is? Damn, that bitch is still alive. <laughs> damn. <laughs> See, and it just goes to show what drinking does for you, right? You know? Exactly. Uh, but her husband is uh, dead. He is dead. Yes. Died like Nipsey last Russell. year, right? Yep, just last year. Yep. Okay, who's next? Nipsey Russell. I think Nipsey's dead. You think? Yeah. Yeah, he's dead. Johnny Mathis. <sighs> oh, man. If I had, I. Just now I was roasting. I have. Um, I, you know. Jack, can you, snipping at your nose. nose. I'm gonna um, say he's dead. I'm just. We'll go with Cammy's answer. He is alive. No. Oh! He's alive. Ooh, I gotta get that clip. That was yes, good. You do. That uh, was nice. J D. Salinger. He. Can I say? Yeah. I remember him one. dying. He died. He would be surprised to hear that because he is alive. Damn. I thought he died like last year. My influence over your life is... <laughs> I used to always know when people were alive and when they were dead. All right. I believe uh, you. Go, go. Tony Curtis. Dead. Dead. Alive. Oh! Just, oh. I think we're, it's just a career that's... We're killing oh, everybody. Oh, I thought you said Jamie Curtis. I thought oh, you no. said Jamie Curtis. Look, see Tony Curtis. Look at that. That's what he hey, looks like. Hey, you're cheating. Hey, hey. <laughs> no, I look it up after the fact. And just in order Lou to Rall. double check. Who? Lou Rawls. Lou Rawls is dead. <laughs> you sounded so sure. It's like you, you killed him. <laughs> Lou Rawls is dead. <laughs> uh, that's He's correct. buried in He's our dead. basement. I, did. I was in Vegas. Yeah. Lou Rawls. That fucker's, that fucker's dead. Yeah. Red Auerbach. songs. Who? Red Auerbach. Red Auerbach's dead. He's dead. Dead? Dead. That's correct. <sighs> Bo Diddley. Oh, I think Bo Diddley is actually alive. I do too. I think he's alive. I think Bo is alive. He's not only alive, he lives just down the road, next town over in Archer. There Florida. we go. Yep. We got one right. We say, agree. Hi, say hi to Talk. Bo. Yeah, hi, Bo. Got the, got the last few right. Um, Jake LaMotta. Oh, wait a minute. You got to give the Jake LaMotta answer. Jake LaMotta? Jake LaMotta is alive. I don't believe that. that so, he is. Your girl there can, your secretary there can type it up and you'll see. Wow. I'm checking just to be sure. Jake LaMotta. Didn't his ex wife pose in Playboy several years ago or something? I believe so. Yeah. There is no death date on his Wikipedia entry, so he's alive. Wow. Well, right. Jake, um, we're sorry about that, and uh, get a get a Skype account and dial in on the show. We'd love to interview you. <laughs> Him okay. and JD Salinger, Tony Curtis, because apparently they're all alive. So, yeah. Eli Wallach. 
I know this one. Dead. Alive. No. Dude, how no. can you say you know no. something and then you'd be completely wrong? <laughs> because I'm certain that people are dead. <laughs> Everybody dies prematurely in our house. He's, he's 93, but he's still hanging in there. No shit. I thought he died. I thought, you know, here's the thing. I have these, I think I have obituary dreams or something. We are so bad like, at this. I actually have these images of watching CNN and seeing the Eli Wallach obituary. Oh, and then he was in the Spaghetti Westerns and the Godfather and blah, 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 blah. You know, and 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 I'm convinced the person is dead. At one point, uh, several years ago when I met Cammie, I told her that I found out that James Earl Jones had died. <laughs> I freaked. I was and like, everyone was like, what? <laughs> yeah. We we actually often have this this problem where he comes home and he tells me that somebody's dead and then I have to argue with him for an hour before he'll even look at a page that shows him that they're not. Yeah, but I can't do it anymore because now we all have iPhones and Google exactly. and everything on the iPhone so we can look it up. But I, I killed... That's true. I've killed plenty of you've folks killed, myself. You've killed, you know, and I hate saying Single-handed. this. Single-handed. Every time I say this, it makes me really, really nervous. Um, but you talked about it on the show last week. He was one of the dead or alive topics last week. Yeah, fish. Abe Vigoda, but everybody, Abe Vigoda. That's everybody. That's a running joke on Conan. Though. I know it's a running joke, but do you know how many times you've been like, "No, is he dead, or is it the a joke that he's not dead?" Yeah, do and they I'm just like, have he's some not actor dead. Playing him on Conan, right? I wasn't aware that it was a running bit on Conan, but I know, like, for the last twenty years, I mean, people have been saying, I mean, he's the, he's the standard guy for dead or alive, Abe Vigoda. You know? Yes. Yeah. He well, is how the old standard. is he? Thanks, isn't there? Let's look. We'll find out exactly how. And he was how. also oh, we in have, a Godfather movie. We have more dead or alive people, right? We have six more. Wow. Okay, go. And we have, we have a bonus. We have a bonus Ooh. one. All right. The next one is Fay Ray. Dead. Careful. <sighs> oh, she's like 103, sure. right? <sighs> is that your final answer? No, actually, I think she's still alive. She's like 100 or something. She's like crazy old. Nope, she's dead. Ah! You are such a sucker. How old was she when she died? Do you have that data? No, I don't, I don't have that okay. data. <laughs> what, kind of a, what kind of a Jeopardy show is this? I don't know. Well, one that you're not very good at, apparently. Mm-hmm. Yes, exactly. Uh, Richard Pryor. Dead. Did he finally? He's dead. I defer to Cammy's answer on this one. Cammy is correct. He is dead. I, I'm not happy because, that he's dead. I'm happy that I'm right. See, what I apologize to your family, Richard I, I, Pryor. And he, it's hard, hard to believe because he took just such good care of himself, too. But. Exactly. <laughs> well, no, he kind of came back and, well, he was supposed to die a couple times and he didn't die yeah. and then he did the circuit and did all that stuff. So he finally. Abe Vigoda is 87, just in case go. anyone wants to know. He's very old. Takes good care of himself. Eli well, Wallach has six years on him. That's awesome. Yeah. It, I thought he. Uh, I, let's not go back to that now. All right, ready? Yep. James Arnest. Uh. Oh. Marshall Matt Dillon. Yeah. I. You know I don't know. I have no knowledge of this. No idea actor. how old he was when he I, was. I love that. I love that this. Really seems to be causing uh, Doctor Normal some pain. Oh yes. It is. Yes. This is. This <laughs> is. You've hit my pain point, my friend. Um. Awesome. Uh, you know, I it just he's. He, I'm just gonna say he's dead. I don't know. He's alive. Damn. How old is he? Oh, see, you got to bring the ages here. We'll do that. We'll, I don't have to do it, monkey boy. Well, we'll just we'll we'll create the research department in your brand new <laughs> podcast empire. Oh, I know. We'll get you a research slave. Yeah, hire an intern. Well, I like the sound of that. Tell Turn Baby you guys have to hire an intern. Okay, I'm up for that. Yeah. Okay, who's next? Barbara Eden. She's alive. Wait a minute. Yes. Is she? Yes. TV's genie. She's alive. <laughs> That's your final answer? Yes. She is alive. Oh, thank God. Good job, baby. <laughs> Don Knotts. He just died. I know he died in the last year. See, and I'm certain of it. So if you tell me, you could just lie and say, "Oh no, 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 no. he died. It, he is dead." But it wasn't. It wasn't like last year. It was like a couple years yeah, ago. He is dead. Unknown fact he is about dead. Don Knotts is he was the shakiest gun in the West. Also, um, if I'm not mistaken, the Incredible Mr. Limpet. Yes, I love that movie. 
Mm-hmm. Is that the one where he goes in the uh, rocket? Or I don't know. I'm not gay. One? I don't watch Don Knotts movies. So. Really? Do you have to be gay? I'm a heterosexual. Yeah. Oh come on! You're you're like my age. You, number you, number one, number one, you wear a bike helmet. Number two, you wear you wear Don Knotts movies. You know what? You may not be homosexual, but you're definitely bi curious, my friend. So really? there's another scoop. <laughs> I find that Rainbow. fascinating. So I, was like, I didn't know that about my. So husband. I was like bi curious at seven years old or something when I was watching Don Knotts movies. <laughs> and and but you made it sound like you had just come from watching it. I mean, I don't know. You made it sound like you watched it all the time. Oh, I don't have time to. Oh, watch I love that movie. You. No, we he doesn't. We have a lot of movies, but he doesn't watch them. No, when I was a kid growing up, didn't you? It was it was just like this steady stream of, of Don Knotts movies and uh, and the Three Stooges movies. No, because I was also a heterosexual when I was small. So I got to tell you that Media Chick says that you're definitely bi curious, and Sybil says that no, you're a metrosexual. All right. Well, we're doing Dead or Alive right now. That's the segment <laughs> we're not doing. Is Mister? We're not doing straight. You know, Straight, straight or, bi gay. or gay. Actually, that should be the next segment, right? Straight or gay, and you give us names. It's good. <clears throat> okay, so who's next? Final name, aside from the bonus name, is Billy Barty. You oh, know, uh, oh, oh, he's, oh, oh, He's got. To, I think he passed. He's got to be dead. He's got to be dead, and because, well, I'm not going to give my reasons. I think he I don't want to offend people. I I know he passed. Yes. He's dead. You're correct. He is. But he lived a long life. Which is unusual. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And bonus one, Chuck Barris. Oh, damn you. I was just thinking I, about this the other day. I was thinking hey, about I put the a lot, I put show. a lot of work into this, buddy. I don't just rattle these off. You know, this takes work. Oh, man. Wow. You know, I was I was actually, can I it tell you? It pleases me that you were agonized. You know what? You, this will please you even more. I was doing the dishes. Which means I must be, you know, bi curious. Um, uh, I was <laughs> or you want to get doing some. the dishes, listening to Pointless Drivel Live, listening to the Dead or Alive thing, and for some reason the Gong Show popped up in my head, and I thought, now is Chuck Barris still alive? I don't know. So I now must have some. I'm gonna say he's alive. Know. Yeah. I I I think he died. I don't know. They did that movie. No, he's got to be alive. He went crazy. Crazy is not dead. <laughs> dead to me. <laughs> dead, alive. You know, that was a great movie. I really liked that movie that did a couple years ago. Yeah, I, I saw, you know, I saw, I didn't see the whole thing. I saw part of it. It was like George Clooney was in it, right? Or directed it or something. Is George okay. Clooney Yeah, alive? I think you're right. Okay. You're right. Yeah. I have my answer. I want you to answer now. Did I want... you look up your answer? I did after I chose. <sighs> so I'm not going to tell you whether I was wrong or right. I swear to God. I think you have to answer it. You know, I'm going to be dead after this segment. I really am. I'm going to go hang myself because I don't know what what uh, what. I, and then next week it could be oh, Doctor Normal. Yeah, Better exactly. Alive. <laughs> <laughs> Did Cammy Chaos eat him for something? Uh, um, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, but they made coasters out of his skin. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> it's a new podcast my, empire know, in Kentucky. My skin would make very lovely coasters because it has the designs right on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Why not? Absolutely. Please don't make coasters out of my skin. I, I, see, this is what I hate about this this answer. There's there's right or wrong, yes or no. She just she just gave me the <laughs> answer. I totally did. So we now have a foul. The judges have to. I'm a bad to, person, but it was the bonus. I'm tired of you waffling. I I, was, I think I don't I, think, I don't think you guys would have won. I think you got more oh, wrong no. than right. I think we no. got more wrong than right too. No, the, the the joy in this is in in this contest is how wrong Doctor Normal really is. It was joyful. That's exactly. And me too. I wasn't right. You know, either. is he is he is he really on and really just off base, or is he is he close to right? So I would have said dead because I swear to God I heard some obituary thing. I have obituaries going in my head. I don't know why. Um. Uh, but but, uh, Cami Chaos tells me that he is actually perhaps the quite bike alive. helmet is exerting a lot of undue pressure on your brain. Well, that or the cock ring. But anyway, um, <sighs> oh, see, I can't wear those because I'm diabetic. So oh yeah, what you can't wear a cock ring because you're diabetic? That's correct. I don't recommend it for people who have diabetes. Really? See, so, you now there's a strange fun fact you didn't know this morning when you woke up. Exactly. I didn't know that. No, um, you Google it. Go ahead. But you, no, I see. believe you. you. I actually believe you. You shouldn't do anything that restricts blood flow too much. So, really, so so all sex toys are just really kind of out now. 
No, not all sex toys, just the ones that restrict blood flow. Yeah, it says right yeah. here, cock rings I, I, aren't recommended still, for I anyone with a vascular disease such as <laughs> diabetes or nerve disease. If you experience discomfort, numbness, or or tingling... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Tingling? Hang on. Okay, wait, I'm going to read it. No, wait a minute. Are you going to give me music? Yeah, I'm thinking a little salsa, don't you? Whatever, I'll read this entire paragraph. Hang on. If I can find a damn thing. Jeez. But I'll read it in the sexy voice. Well, yeah. Hmm. Oh. You gotta hurry, cause I'm I'm I about suck. to peak. Okay, we'll just do the drink music. <laughs> we'll just do the drink music, cause I, I not fast. Cock rings are sex toys that tighten around the base of the penis and testicles, and reduce the flow of blood out of the penis back into the body. Blood flows into the penis through the blood vessels at the organ's core, and out through the veins near the skin's surface. So the restriction allows the blood to flow in but not out as quickly. Trapping blood in the penis can make for more engorgement and greater sensitivity. Create a firmer erection and for some, delay ejaculation. Then again, since everybody is different, cock rings may have no significant effect on the size or longevity of an erection. In fact, they can make some guys come faster. So we don't recommend them as a fix for erectile issues, but they sure can be fun. Most adult stores in the Seattle area <laughs> I thought I was reading the what diabetes. What the hell? It's like, where's the diabetes? Hold part? on. Oh, Let me get there. Uh, safety. The penis does not stay ho No, hold on. <laughs> Let me get to the safety part. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is the rest of the show. You got another half hour, right? <laughs> Here we go. I got it. Cock rings aren't recommended for anyone with vascular disease, such as diabetes or nerve disease. If you experience discomfort, numbness, or tingling, take it off. It is always a good idea to keep an eye on your pink parts to make sure that everything down there is happy and healthy. That was the National Penis <laughs> Awareness Month by Cami Chaos. Thank you very much. What the hell was that? Jeez. Um, you still sorry? on? You still on Skype? <laughs> uh, there you go. Oh, no. Mr. Fab left us. He totally left. I have done something that no one has done before. I upset Mr. Fab so much that he went away, and then he came back. Did you hang up on me? No, you hung up on no. us. <laughs> no. I no, literally said, did you I hang up, it. and you hung up. I'm nice sorry? cue. I literally said, ah, I think he hung up on us. I think he, we were done, and you hang, you hung up, so that was nice uh, cue. You know, what you, uh, you know how I can prove I didn't hang up? Because when, when Cammy talks in that voice, um, all I do is pleasure myself. So my hand was nowhere near the keyboard. I have, funny, so do I. I have to believe him. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'm it was gonna, a computer I'm gonna, I'm malfunction. I'm going to take that segment. I'm going to play it over and over again during my special alone time. Awesome. I'm going to put that on my resume. You really should. I should. It's important to know. I, you, I'll, I'll, I'm looking forward to the masturbating while you talk <laughs> about pink parts. <laughs> pink parts. Keep an eye on your pink parts. It was just a little too Most long. Most stores in the Seattle area. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Would when you I got, like to do this? Too? When I got to the Seattle area, I realized that I was not talking about the safety part. I was just talking about the. I, I kept I kept reading it and going, when are they going to get to the part about diabetes? That wasn't. You should have pulled up the Spartacus site. I don't know if the Spartacus site has the we information actually have on a diabetes. Company that makes these sex toys here uh, locally. Yeah. Just down the street in crazy Portland, because that's what we do. We make sex toys. We're and vegetarians. Clubs, and we eat bacon. We eat bacon and ride public transit. And bicycles. Much like Kentucky. <clears throat> no, they have horses and bourbon. Exactly. We have we have sex shops and strip clubs. And tattoos. And tattoos. Lots of tattoos in Portland. They yeah. have lots of tattoos in Kentucky. Have you checked out the I'm ink? thinking about getting a tattoo finally. Yes. I'm very excited. Tell us about that. I don't know what I want it to be, though, but perhaps Turn Baby doesn't have one either, so perhaps we'll get one together. I'm going to do it again. Oh. <gasps> Mr. Chaos doesn't have any tattoos, and I don't think he wants to get tattooed with me. Why not? Uh, Is he a pussy? I, no, I think he just leaves the tattooed freak part to me. Okay. Mr. Chaos, do you have anything to say on this matter? He considered getting a tattoo before he met me, but then he met me, and he was kind of like, well, mm, you got enough. For us. Mm. That's true. I can see that. I'm a tattoo fan. 
I'm just non-committal. I, I mean, it's like dead or alive. I just, I don't know which way I go. You're <laughs> dead or alive. I don't know. Tattoo, no tattoo. Yeah, I think he kind of committed mm. to me and he committed to being a musician. And then other than that, he's, you know, kind of not going to no commit commitment. to stuff. Yeah. Yeah, just really flaky. Okay. Don't know. Don't know what, I mean, what would I put on my body permanently? I don't know. <sighs> Sorry. And then I had a dream about a tattoo. And I said no. That I was excited about. Mm-hmm. That I was like, okay, that would be really cool. And Cammy nixed it. But Can you it. guess what body part I had a dream of tattooing? Your schwanz? Yep. Mm-hmm. And I said no. That would hurt. You. I said no. No. I think you'd no. be all right. He would never do it anyway. Oh, uh, he would just to be contrary, actually. But I said no lot, because a I think that that's the one part of the body that is just not need does not need to be messed. I have with. low sensitivity in that area. <laughs> what the hell? No. Um, interesting. <laughs> the things we learn on strange love. I gotta take a hammer to it love. once in a while. <clears throat> Go out to the shop and get some tools and get things going. You know what you guys totally need to do is you totally play. Uh, you totally need to make me a uh, a promo thing that I can play on uh, my show for your show. Hell yeah! There we go. We'll make it a little do it commercial. That, do that voice talk about the pink parts. That'd be good. Would you like to learn more about pink parts? Listen yeah, that'll to get people Strange over there. Love with Cammy Gaffs. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Should you know, have have uh, have uh, Bye Boy over there mix something up and uh, send it to me? <laughs> All right, Bye Boy bitch, mix something up and send it to my friend, Mister Fabby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was really bisexual, wasn't it? <laughs> sure. Sure, okay. Yes, dear. <laughs> okay, honey. Whatever you say. <laughs> <laughs> so what else we got? Awesome. Um, I think that we've got the rest of the day to kill. And we- it's sunny outside. What's the weather like down there? It's sunny. sunny. Probably sunny. Uh, normally it is. It's actually overcast. Chance of thunder showers this afternoon. Do you guys have like hurricanes? Are, are, oh, you're leaving right before the big hurricanes. I'm leaving soon. the hurricanes, but I'm gaining yeah. the tornadoes apparently, so... Nice. Do you guys have a basement to hide in? We do. It's a lovely, lovely basement. You should set up your recording studio in the basement. It's a lovely finished basement with, um, what's happened? Sorry. Oh, I said you should set up your recording studio in the basement so that you can be like Mr. Chaos and I. And so that when you guys have the the tornadoes, you can hide in the basement and still podcast. Exactly. Well, we're going to do, the the basement is going to be more of a party area. That's where the, um, that is where the. Leather straps and the hooks and stuff go, right? Uh. Oh, you've seen the plans? Yes. No, that's that's where the, the um, pool table's already there. Ooh. And there's already, I don't know what they were doing, but there is a portion of that room that has a mirrored, mirrored tiles in the ceiling. Nice. So what we're going to do is we're both huge, huge karaoke fans. We're going to make a stage and hang a disco ball from it, and that's where we're going to do our karaoke. So the basement is going to be the party room, and then we always envision the attic part as sort of like the studio where, you know, she could do some painting too. I could work with a Sculpey. We could have the radio, radio stuff up there, um, all that artistic crap. So this is just going to be, you know, if, if you didn't get enough of Mr. Fab and Turn Baby, this is going to be huge, right? This is like, it, it, you're going to be like on CNN or something in, in six months, right? It's just going to be a huge breakout, <laughs> right? I don't know, maybe. And then the show after next, June first, is actually her birthday. So, if you'll tune in, you will hear me yes. give give her her birthday present on the air. Oh, oh wait. very nice. Oh. That was so my we're looking own. forward to that. Well, I think oh, it that was very nice. I think that we've been talking for nearly two hours now. Yeah, it feels like we're done. You have no sense of time, but that's correct. How many? Seven hours. One point two. About an hour and twenty. You know, an hour and 20 minutes with Mr. Fabulous seems like six hours with someone else. So what are we, what are we taking this show out with? I've got a couple, because we, we, we're still trying to find the right tune to, to end our shows. And, uh, and, I, and I try to find an original piece of music, because that's always good, and, you know, copyright and all that. Oh, see, as opposed to me, who rips off uh, popular music. All well, that's good. I mean, that's entertaining, right? Well, I can't make music, so... Uh, so what do we? Although got? I'm very excited, I'm very excited. I will be working this weekend on my new song parody. Um, Someone shave my wife tonight. Oh, nice! 
I'll be working on that this weekend. So. And what is that to the tune to? Someone saved my life tonight. Elton John? Oh. What are you, okay. like, 60 years old? You, I mean, you know, do you know any popular music from before 1995? Or? Um, you know. Actually, you do. She, <laughs> she, she's very good about that. <laughs> I know older music, and then I know older music, um, and then I don't you know so much with the... You want to do witchcraft. Yes. Yeah, I really, I like the classics. So you will be the one parsing out, figuring out who sings what for that, right? Sure. Okay. I sure will. Well, it's I assume. Exciting. I mean, you can you you record it and send it to me, and then whatever part you're not singing, I will just assume that that's the part I should be singing. Perfect. Awesome. Or you could. But you I'll know. need to know when we're. And I'll need to know when we're singing together. So. Exactly. I was going to say, except for the parts where we're singing together, I've got this guy, and um, he's really good at you know recording things. And I hear he doesn't have a tattooed out. penis. Though. He does not have a tattooed penis because that bitch wife of his won't let him get it done. I'm serious. She's a task master, and that is not on her list of tasks to do. I think I'm going to get my scrotum pierced. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine with scrotal piercings. I'm just not okay. We discussed this. Cool. Scrotal piercings are okay. I just don't like the actual penis itself to be altered. You, you ever notice altered. how when you're a guy, you just get, you get older and you get bored, and so you just need to accessorize or something. You know, you don't know what to do. It's like, <laughs> eh, you know, just pierce this shit or something and see what happens, you know? That's Might not why I pierce things. I pierce things because it's nice. Mm-hmm. Not the actual act of getting them pierced. That hurts, but yeah. We were going to end the show, and now somehow we're talking about putting holes through naughty bits. Big surprise, right? So what do you want to hear? Well, they're only naughty if you're repressed, so... Yeah, I like calling them naughty. It makes me happy. Naughty. <laughs> so you want the blues naughty from last bits, night? Or do you want the big spinner? Uh, how about big spinner? Play big spinner for me, baby. So the people can hear. This is yeah. off my l- brand new latest CD. Yeah, this is off of Mr. Chaos's latest album. Doc Normal's latest album, I should say. Something. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Fabi. Yeah, it was great. Thank you. Thank you for having me, kids. Yay. And get yeah. that promo thing to me. And I'll, I'll play the crap out of it. Yeah, we'll get it ASAP, baby. Word. Have a good day, hon. All right. Talk to you guys later. Hey, see you later. Thanks a lot. Peace out, brother. Peace Mm -hmm. out. Hey, you're here. You're queer. I'm used to it. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gone. Bye, everybody.